I'm journalist Lauren O'Dwyer. And I'm journalist Kayla Williams. Please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, and the reunion of all Christians, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Food Services Director Jeff Crowder has today's lunch menu. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today's menu will be hamburger, french fries, baked beans, fruit, and a cookie. Today is day two of Red Ribbon Week with the theme of Be Kind to Your Mind, Live Drug Free. It's also Camo Dress Day on which we'll all be hunting for a drug free future. Or maybe some deer if any of you guys are into muzzle loading. A Red Ribbon Week assembly was held yesterday when a representative from the Arkansas Department of Health spoke about vaping. ...has not approved these things, so therefore the tobacco companies can add any type of chemical they want. So a lot of those chemicals are harmful chemicals. They have lead, they have tin, they have different types of nipple, they have organic compounds. These are all the type of chemicals that people are putting in their bodies when they inhale vapes. A lot of times when I talk to people, they talk about, when I ask the question, is traditional cigarettes or vapes safer? Which one of y'all think is safer? Over here. Which one do you think? Traditional cigarettes or vapes or e-cigarettes is safer? At this point, traditional cigarettes. Traditional. He's absolutely right because remember what I said. Vapes are not FDA approved and the tobacco company could add any chemical they want into the vapes. vapes. I want y'all to pay attention to it as I click the next screen. All of these chemicals have been found in vape. Some of the chemicals causes severe harm to the body. So think about formaldehyde. What is formaldehyde used for? Anybody knows? Lots of times you use that for embalming fluid for when people die. Acetone. What's what's some chemicals that have acetone? Females. Yes. Dust remover. Dust remover. No, rust. Think about nail polish remover. Nail polish remover. Rat poison. The chemicals that's listed, that's highlighted here in yellow. These are very harmful chemicals. So every time you hit on a vape or you take a hit off of vapes, this is what's going into your lungs. The state volleyball tournament begins today in Quitman. Our varsity girls will be playing Cutter Morning Star about 6 p.m. FCCLA members have a meeting after school tomorrow. Please attend. FCCLA is also having a bake sale Thursday during both lunch periods. It will be set up outside the food prep classroom. That is all for today's morning announcements. Have a great day and, and go, go Bulldogs! Bulldogs.